few days ago, I said that I was going to vlog every single day of the week, a week in the life of an eBay seller. But I'm realizing now on day two just how tricky that is. The videos are still going to come, I'm just going to have to work a whole lot harder than I thought I would. Today's to-do list is a massive, massive list, guys. Probably the busiest of the week. We need to ship off all of the sales that came through overnight. Now, I say all, but we only had a total of six sales. That won't take very long to do at all. I need to go out and I need to find 15 items to sell onto eBay for a profit by any means necessary. And then I'm going out and I'm getting a haircut, guys, because I'm overgrown. We need to go out. We need to do something about it. I'm thinking, I'm thinking maybe a number one, maybe a buzz cut, take it all off. Beanie life for winter. Not sure yet, we'll have to wait and see. It's a big episode, let's get into it. So the first item I wanted to have a quick chat about was a sale that we had late last night. It was a, a Game Boy Advance console, a black one, my one from back when I was a kid. Um, I went over to mum and dad's place over the weekend. They said there was a bunch of stuff. There was some Pokemon games that we spoke about in yesterday's vlog and the Game Boy has turned around in a very quick space of time. A few days worth of the sell through rate on this one, $109 worth of a sale price. So to be able to get it for free, it's all pretty much profit minus about 13% worth of fees and the postage charges. Um, so about 90 odd dollars, which is pretty exciting uh, considering I didn't even know I had it. Um, this is the other one as well that came through this morning. This is the most expensive DVD on eBay if you've got it in its entirety. This is Prisoner Cell Block H. The entirety sells for a $1,500 charge on eBay. There's some ridiculous comps for this one if you want to do some research about it. Um, this one here is just a volume four. We got a $35 sale price plus $20 worth of international postage for this one. So a bit of bubble wrap, I'll put it into a satchel and that one will be good to go. This is the next one here. We've got Jordan Belfort, Way of the Wolf, the old uh, Wolf of Wall Street uh, book. A really cool one here. I wish I actually got to read it before it sold. Uh, it sold for $29.95. I bought it as a hardcover in a thrift store for $3. Very typical to buy hardcover books in, in local thrift stores for our area at that $3 charge. So $3.30, I'll put this into a small satchel. Should cost me about $8 with my Australia Post uh, Band 5 discount that I have. Um, so the profit in that is gonna be significant, certainly off the $3 spend. All right, so this one here, this is a perfect example about just spending the time in your local thrift stores to scan up stuff you have no idea what it's worth. If I looked at this in a thrift store and I wasn't doing my due diligence and comping things, I probably would have passed it by. It's not a TV show. It is brand new and sealed though, so that could have been a, maybe a reason why I would have gone and had a look at it. Um, but this one here, once I did some scanning, I realized it was worth anywhere between $20 to $30. So I bought it for a dollar and we ended up getting a best offer sale of $22.50. So I'll put this one down to the hard yards of doing my comp research while I'm in my thrift store. If I didn't do that, I wouldn't have had this sale. And here's a look at the other four sales that we had as well, guys. We've got Pokemon Moon. That one didn't sell for a great deal of money. I think it was about $30, but always a quick sell-through rate. Um, we've got Edge here as well. This is a Titan Tron Live, 1999. Got a $20 sale price on that one there. All of these action figures that I've got a big box of have been going for about $20 to $25. So an awesome category. A bunch of holo cards. Um, none of them are crazy value, these ones, but I did them as a bundle. We sold them for $28.50. Um, I think somebody got an absolute steal out of that, to be honest with you. Um, bundle of 10 there, all hollows from 2008, I think they were. And then this one here, this is an untested Furby. I couldn't get him to light up and work. So uh, not that I tried too hard, I just, he wasn't working. So I just listed him as untested and we've got a $22.50 sale price. Furbies can generally go for $50 to $60, but I just dropped the price considering he was untested, but it might turn out to be completely fine. But um, good to see that go. Another four there, plus the four that I spoke of eight sales in one day. It's a little less than what we normally do, but there were some pretty good numbers in there. I'm meeting up with Brooke. Brooke's one of my friends. This is her small business. I want to support small business. So when I found out that she was a hairdresser and she had her own salon, I thought I'd go in there and help her out and get a cut every, every month. So that's today. Don't know what haircut I'm going to get. Might let Brooke guide me in the uh, right direction, but um, why oh, is that her down there? I've gone too far. See what she says. Um, now, I was saying in this vlog as I was coming in, Brooke, that I was tempted to <gasps> take it all off. You said that the other day, and I'm a little concerned. What do you, do you reckon my head's an ugly head for a shaved head? I want to go shorter. I okay. want to go like... We could go like a one. What about 0.5? Come down and say hi to Brooke and tell her that I sent you. She'll give you 10% off. Give you a high five. Yeah, and a high five.
Well guys, it's time to do some thrifting and this is our first set of finds. We've got these Nike downshifters. Uh, a big $20 price tag on these ones here unfortunately, so I left those behind. But these Nike Metcons for $10, they were a pretty good pickup. I went ahead with those. These seem too good to be true guys because they're another pair of downshifters and they had a $4 price tag on them. So I tried to grab them. Well guys, those Nike shoes, unfortunately, we didn't quite get them for $4. She said that they were priced incorrectly and they were gonna be $15. And I was about to leave and not pay for them and she said, all right, well, how about $10? So I struck both. Two pairs of shoes for 10 bucks each, 20 bucks spent. It's a, it's a start, isn't it? I was also able to be the first on Facebook Marketplace to strike on a huge 18 set PlayStation 2 bundle. Really, really good titles as well. He had the listing for $100, so pretty much five bucks a piece. And I was the first person to message. But I wasn't the only one to message, and he ended up upping the price to $200. And then he messaged me and he said, sorry, Matt, you know, I've got a bunch of inquiries. I'm just gonna trial it at $200 and see how I go. It's three o'clock right now. What he said to me is he's, he finishes work at five o'clock. He's gonna run the play at 200 bucks and see how he goes over the next couple of hours. And then I believe he's gonna offer it to me at $100 if he can't get anyone to buy. So I'm gonna continue out thrifting, but 18 listings worth of PlayStation 2 games for five bucks a piece at $100 would be heaven right now. We kinda of need that. So let's do a bit more thrifting, round up a few more items and then pray that we can get that 445 message saying, come and grab them. Here's something for you guys. These are a very top end pair of football boots. They go for about 80 to $100. The ACC there is the telltale sign. These are the leathers. They've got the clear tips on the stud. Something for you guys to be looking for. I've also got a bunch of DVDs, guys. These have done very well for us here. As time goes by, I've just recently sold this one for $50. So I'm hoping to do the same again. Raw Hide, you can always count for about $20 for the first season of this show. The Virginian, you can actually get about $30 for this one. So some unbelievable DVDs there. Quite a bit of money in those, but it didn't end there. This, uh, The Famous Five, I thought this was just in the book series, but it actually goes for $50 on DVD. $50, guys, just crazy. And then this one here, Coronation Street, the best of the 1960s, you get about $25 for that one there as well. Secret Series, we've got a couple more out of this one as well. That will be a bundle of two that we can go ahead with. They just kept coming out. It was a crazy allocation. Murder, she wrote, that goes for about 20 as well. So I've cashed in, I've bought it all, how good? Hundreds of dollars worth of value here, guys, and I've just paid the $22. But more importantly, we've got nine listings for our eBay store, awesome. Well, I feel much better about things now, guys, because when you add the two pairs of shoes to those nine listings, that means we're up to now a total of 11 for the day. So that's fantastic because we've got two scheduled up for tomorrow. So that means I only need to find two more items now. And we're still a chance of getting all of those PlayStation 2 games. So fingers crossed, this could turn into a very big sourcing day, which is great. Now, if you thought the last DVD haul was amazing, check this out. The Surreal Life. I found these two copies, Season 6 and Season 2. They were $2 each, and the comps are insane. Okay, just a little update on our PS2 collect. He's dropped the price to $180, then he dropped it to $160, and now he's trying to get $150 for it. I'm like, man, the more that he drops it, somebody's going to take them for $150. So should I just jump in and just say yes to $150? It'd be basically buying these games for like $8 or $9, which I think, to be honest, is pretty steep. I don't think it's worth that much, I, at least on a bulk deal of 18 items. So I've said to him, I'll do $120. He hasn't got back to me yet. The deadline is half an hour. He's got 30 minutes left. He knows that he should be messaging me by then. So I'll keep you posted. really tough to see guys I've been in that store a number of times over the years but it just felt really full of stock you know like they weren't selling or moving anything and you know I know they're trying to price up for the uh, sort of the prices that we we sell it for online but that's not their business model they aren't online they aren't speaking to millions of people you know all around the world just after that one specific item at the click of a button they're a retail store with a shop front and they're speaking to a local market with the branding that they are a donation center so they've got two people going in there. The less fortunate, for sure. We don't want to take away from them either. But there's also people like us that are going in there to buy, to resell. That's their, that's their market. That's their customer base. So it really baffles me to see $40 shoes, you know, $20 plush toys. 
$7 individual DVDs that don't even sell for $7 on eBay. It's just, I truly just don't understand it. I get what they're trying to do by matching what they're seeing it go for online, but they're not an online store. And if they are, then have different prices for in-store because it's a smaller market base and a lot of us aren't willing to pay that much. Well guys, it's 4.50. He was nice enough to at least send me a message. People on Facebook don't often do that. They don't give you the courtesy to reply back. But what he did say, though, was that I could have it. So I'm very relieved, guys. This is awesome. 18 listings for Courtney, plus what we're able to buy today as well. I'm going to go and pick it up now, get some cash out from the bank, and then we're going to get back home. And I just, because I've been running around all day today, I haven't really sat down and assessed this deal. I've just used my prior experience with the titles that I saw, and $100 was definitely a good deal. I'm sure $120 is going to be fine as well. But we're going to get back home, crunch the numbers, and I'm going to conclude this video by giving you my overall thoughts on how good of a deal this one actually is. Yeah, mate. How you doing? Um, video again? Yes. Yes. Sweet. 120. Cool, there you go now. Well, that was an absolute success. I'm absolutely thrilled with this allocation. I've just spent quite a bit of time sifting through all of the individual price points per the eBay sold comps. But what I need to say first of all, is that this guy was clearly meticulous with his video games. Every single one of these 18 games comes with the original manual and there are hardly any visible scratches on the discs. It's exactly what you wanna find when you're out there game hunting. So first of all, just right off the bat, I know that whatever it is, I can get top dollar for it because it's complete without scratches in very good condition. Now, we paid $120 for it. I was a little bit nervous. There are actually four games just here that I'm not gonna be able to sell. They're just two, I guess, less in value. This Dave Mirror too there, um, that was selling for about $15 in its case. So it's probably gonna be a less than $10 disc only. Um, these iToys, you can never really account for too much value. There are a couple of them there. Uh, play three as well. So I always discard those. They were only about five or six dollars. I knew that when I saw the photo of the listing. Um, Burnout two point of impact. That game's worth less than ten dollars, unfortunately. So that's going by the wayside as well. So what that leaves us with is 14 games. We've got 14 games here. I've broken them up into their individual pricing structure. I'm going to turn the camera on over the top and uh, I'm going to take you through all of the price breakdown now. So here it is here, guys. We've got three games, Crash, Nitro Kart, Grand Theft Auto 3, the double pack, and then Burnout Revenge. They all came in at a $15 price point. So $45 in value for those three there. Um, we've got for, in our $20 price range, $80 worth of value here. We've got a Crash uh, Bandicoot Wrath of Cortex came in, uh, a Grand Theft Auto San Andreas, a 50 cent bulletproof, and then a Need for Speed Underground. If you can find Need for Speed Underground 2, that goes for a lot more money. I've got to say too, guys, when it comes to your video games, certainly obviously the PS2, um, your black label video games generally go for a few more dollars than the platinum version. So when I'm looking at all of these games here, I'm really trying to hope to see a lot of these black labels because I know it's just going to naturally scan up to be worth a few more dollars. Um, there's probably slightly more platinum games in this allocation, but they still, as you can see here, go for some good money. This Grand Theft Auto Vice City for $25. Um, this one surprised me. Buzz Jr. D uh, Dino Den. It is a black label, but it's a $25 every day of the week. So that was a good one to see. Remember, all of this is because they are complete with manual in very good condition. So I'm thrilled about the... Uh, the allocation that we've got. We've got a lot of Ratchet and Clank. And to be honest with you guys, it was these next five games, which is the reason why I've gone ahead and made this purchase, just because the value on every single one of these Ratchet and Clank games can be anywhere between $35 to $40. Given there's two black labels in the mix, uh, I'm gonna try for 40 bucks for every single one of these, and I'm gonna sell them individually. There were some comps on eBay just doing them as one bundle for about $120 but I wanna try and maximize the value and sell it all for 40 each and get 160. This one here as well, again, another reason, like I said, it was the Ratchets and then it was also this one here. Uh, Simpsons Hit and Run, albeit a platinum version, uh, excellent condition on the disc and there is a manual hiding in there as well. So we should be able to get about $65 for that. And then what that means is, this is pretty much it. It's worth $400, this entire allocation. It's a $28.50 average sale price, and I put that into the e-profit calculator to work out after fees and post 
how much I'd actually make in profit. And even with a 3% promoted listing, it worked out to $150 worth of true net profit. So ultimately guys, we've spent $120 today on Facebook Marketplace, but we're gonna receive, once these games, all very good games go on to sell, $150 worth of profit. Remember, we also went out thrifting today and we had all of these cracking DVDs come through as well. So this is gonna be a huge allocation of listings for Courtney over the next couple of days. Um, these footy boots, obviously a very big get, and we had some, some other pairs of running shoes and gym shoes as well. So, so many really good items bought today. Didn't spend a whole heap of money either. I do just really wanna say before I let you go, this video was meant to be, this is obviously a second episode over a seven video series. Um, I was gonna be doing the authentication of the clothing, um, all of the designer clothing that I got. Unfortunately, um, the person that was verifying the clothing said that she wasn't available until tomorrow. So that's what tomorrow's vlog is gonna be about, me going out and getting those clothing items authenticated. Um, fingers crossed they come through all good and then we can list them up and sell them for some pretty big money. Um, hopefully you enjoyed the video guys. That is episode number two. It is 6.50 and I've got the next 12 hours to get this video out by 6 a.m. tomorrow morning. I've got my work cut out for me, but I'm enjoying the series guys. This is gonna keep Courtney busy for a few more days. Go and watch this video right here, which was the first episode of this vlog series. We'll see you in the next one.